They are. We're recording. It should say on yours as well that we're recording. Yes, it does. Is light good? Do I need to turn light on? No, it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Slavko and Sanya, it's wonderful to to see you and to be able to make contact like this. I can't imagine why we haven't done this before. It seems uh, so easy, and it's yeah. lovely to talk with you. Now, uh, we know you and your family quite well at St. Botolph's. Tell us, if you would, about what David and Jovana are up to. Okay, <laughs> so David is a uh, second year of faculty in Croatia, in Zagreb. So he is just now doing his exams. So he's stuck there right now because of uh, virus COVID. So I didn't see him for how seven many? Months. Seven months. <laughs> I mean, through social media, yes, but physically, you know, in life, mm. I didn't see him for seven months. It's really hard, but I know that he is doing well. Uh, he is uh, there with one good church, so he has good friends there, brothers and sisters in Christ, and so because of that, you know, I'm so happy. And uh, you must be uh, missing him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we speak very regularly on WhatsApp and we see him on WhatsApp almost daily. But unfortunately, because of COVID and travel restrictions, we couldn't see him yeah, what a physically. Yeah, that's... Now, tell me about Jovana. And Jovana, uh, she had a job until April 1st. And because of this situation, her company just, you know, decided to one third of people to give uh, uh, to, to, fire. to fire. So she's not right now without job. Uh, she's looking for new one, but because of situation, you know, it's really hard. So we hope that soon God will provide something for her. Right, thank you. Now, um, Slavko, you're no longer the pastor of Kashevsko Burdo. That's correct. Um, can you, well, I'll ask you what you're doing in just a moment. But first of all, I know that you're still attending that church. Can you, you tell us how that, how that works and how that's going for you? Yes, well, uh, transition went really well. And uh, new pastor Dragon, he is doing a really good job and situation in church till COVID started was very good. I was really pleased. We are active members and I preach quite regularly and do some other things in January, February, I did training for evangelism for seven, eight guys. And all was really well until COVID started. With start of the COVID, our government made measures, a curfew basically, and uh, they forbid uh, public gatherings and things. So mid-March, we had to stop our services, not just Sunday services, but also prayer meetings and home groups. And, and all of that was happening over social media. Mm. And that was, we, we were quite quick, you know, to move to social media. We started with uh, Sunday sermons on Facebook, on YouTube, with our uh, Bible study groups and prayer meetings on Viber or WhatsApp. Uh, and also, uh, we decided to start uh, some evangelistic efforts on social media. So I was recording evangelistic message weekly. And in first few weeks, the response was really good. So I decided then to open YouTube canal. Is that English word? Canal, channel, 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 channel yeah. YouTube channel. It's called Good News. And since then, I'm posting evangelistic messages, not just mine, but of other people from the region as well. And the response is very good. Then, end of May, uh, we started the church again. I mean, to go to church building physically, uh, because a number of cases, confirmed cases, went really down because of strict curfew. And we had like in Sarajevo one, two confirmed cases per day. But after just two, three weeks, uh, number of cases jumped again. Now, yesterday, we had over 60 confirmed cases in Sarajevo, a couple hundreds in Bosnia. So basically, last three Sundays, we cannot meet physically in church again. And we again moved back to social media. 
So that's a little bit difficult, but we are surviving. It sounds like you have a very full timetable, Slavko. No spare time. Uh, it is. Besides this engagement with local church, I was also doing trainings for preaching, what I'm doing for Langham preaching. A okay. uh, few of my trips where I was supposed to do live seminars, you know, there with yeah, the yeah. people were cancelled and we moved some of them to social media. So I did okay. level one on and two, two levels of training for students of Bible Institute in Mostar, and they are coming from Croatia, Montenegro, so we did it over Zoom. And then also yeah. I did training for students of Evangelical Theological Seminary in Osijek over platform, which is called Moodle. So I, I, I've been busy, just not um, moving much far from our home. <laughs> I'm sure there must be more than one of you, Slavko, <laughs> to do all that. Now, uh, Sanya, are you still involved with the, the youth ministry and the women's ladies ministry, the Circle of Women's? Yeah. Circle of Women. Yes, <laughs> I'm uh, still involved with Circle of Women. We had last one end of February, mm -hmm. so we plan everything for next one, which is supposed to be in April, beginning of April, but because of this situation, now we are waiting, we hope that on September, maybe October, will be better situation that we can continue with that ministry and i hope especially because of this time you know that lady will you know they are willing to come just to change yes. <laughs> and to hear something new yeah now um slavka you said you had a good response from online evangelistic messages that's quite quite a breakthrough for bosnia it is, it is. And uh, I did evangelism also outside of Bosnia from my kitchen table. So one of the first things which I did was a Zoom meeting for students for uh, IFS, uh, CU Christian Unions, for Serbia and Montenegro. And on first one, there were 80 people present and more than half were non-Christians. And if we, wow. if I go there and do evangelistic events, if we have 80 people, that would be wonderful, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, on that first meeting, one man, and he actually is not a student, he is professor at the university in Belgrade, and uh, he became so interested that he continued. Uh, IFS of Serbia was doing weekly evangelistic messages over Zoom, and he come to next few, and then he uh, committed his life to Jesus. For our fantastic. local church uh, videos, which I was doing, I'm not sure which was first, which was second, but uh, two, two stories that uh, mostly, uh, if I can say, impacted me or, or made me happy. One man whom I know from before, and he was open for the gospel and we, we had the talks before but on one of my messages which i recorded on youtube he immediately responded over facebook messenger contacted me and he wrote how he was deeply touched and then in his message which he typed and wrote to me there was his prayer he basically prayed prayer through that message and then the other story probably 10 years ago, we had family in our church uh, with uh, little children, and that children were attending our Sunday school. And then that family moved outside of Bosnia to the West. Uh, they first live in Germany, and now they live in France. And uh, one of their sons, who was back then maybe 10 years old, and now he is in his early 20s, he contacted me also. He said that he was watching one of the videos that it impacted him deeply. It was a very emotional message. And then a few weeks later, he decided to get baptized. So that's really... That is, it sounds like you're having a great time. So, okay, Slavko, tell me, um, since you've, uh, you've uh, stood down from being pastor, what is it that you're doing now? Apart from all these evangelistic messages online. <laughs> <laughs> Those things which I mentioned already. So basically my ministry has two, 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 two parts. So one is training of preachers. 
and I'm a regional coordinator for Southern Europe for Langham Preaching. And that means being in touch with, with movement coordinators or national coordinators, help them to plan and organize seminars for preachers and speak uh, or facilitate those seminars. So basically some seven, eight countries are uh, where I'm working from Slo basically all former Yugoslavia, Slovenia, Croatia, uh, Bosnia, Serbia, Montenegro, Macedonia, then Greece, Albania, um, and a few more, I guess. I was in February doing a seminar in Croatia and right after that in Slovenia. Uh, in March, I was supposed to do one in Mostar for Bible school in May in Osijek in Croatia. We did that over Zoom and Moodle. Also in May, we were supposed to have one in Albania. That one has been canceled. We will see when it will happen again. Then the other part of my ministry is connected with evangelism. So I'm speaking at evangelistic events, but also doing training of individuals and churches and assisting churches and parachurch organizations with uh, evangelism and evangelistic events. So also uh, I did Molda Moldova over Zoom in April, I think, uh, some of my trips, I was supposed end of March to be in Czech Republic and in Slovenia doing evangelistic events. That has to be cancelled. But that is basically training of preachers, evangelism and training of evangelists. And you're enjoying your new role, are you? Yes, I am. I'm not, not under the COVID circumstances, <laughs> but I am. <laughs> and uh, Sanya, are you stopping him from working too hard? Me, I didn't. Are you stopping him from working too hard? <laughs> <laughs> right, and that sounds fantastic. Now, um, just moving to, to Bosnia for, for a bit, the, the country of Bosnia. We've just, or you've just had the 25th anniversary of Srebrenica. Yeah. Um, now, that made the news in this country because it was such a, a terrible massacre. But mm -hmm. ha has that affected Bosnia at all? the 25th anniversary of such a terrible event? Yeah, I mean, again, because of the COVID, the, the commemoration was much, much smaller. So right. in the past, we would have some important <laughs> politicians and figures from all world coming to those commemorations. I think that Prince Charles was once at commemoration. His sister, Princess Anne, was at commemoration. Uh, some American former presidents, Bill Clinton was coming, presidents from mm. the region. Now this year it was really small and they did also some online things. Uh, of course it is affecting all country and it's all over media and uh, yeah. But uh, from the other side it's 25th anniversary so I yeah. would say that it was harder in the past when it, when it was fresher, if that has sense. Yeah, yeah. But tell me, how, how does the, the, the memory of an event like that affect evangelism and the message of the gospel? <laughs> it does affect uh, in a negative way. Uh, what I mean by that, not just memory of Srebrenica, but war itself which happened here. So uh, we, have, we had three sides in the war. There were Bosniaks who are by background Muslims, there were Serbs who are by background Orthodox and Croats who are by background Catholics. Uh, so basically you have, you know, Muslims and uh, Christians or nominal Christians. And uh, what war did, uh, it, it caused people to identify a religion with nationality. So if you are born in certain nationality, you have to be that religion. And if you change your religion, you are betrayer of your family, of your friends. Of, and knowing that we live in Sarajevo, which is probably 90% Bosniak Muslim, uh, even when people are open, when they hear 
message of the gospel and when they are open to hear, when you see that that message is working within them, for them is big stumbling block to make that step to become Christian because then th there is usually or possibly a rejection from the family, from the friends, mm -hmm. because they change a religion which in their thinking is changing nationality or taking yeah. enemy's side, if that has sense. It sounds an incredibly difficult setting that um, those of us who haven't grown up with it don't really understand. I mean, the closest we've got is, uh, is Welsh, English and Scottish and Irish, which is nothing, <laughs> <laughs> nothing like, uh, like Bosnia. Um, but it's good to have somebody like you who's grown up with it, who understands it, who's actually doing evangelism. Um, I, I don't know if you, if you have any uh, ways or, or ways that you evangelize that try and get around that kind of issue of religion and nationality, or do you just preach the gospel as we would? Well, I, I would say mainly first thing is preach the gospel. That, that, that's the basic. But then, of course, you try to, to, to reach people, to become friends, to hear them, not just, uh, I'm now speaking about one-on-one -on -one evangelism, or not just to speak to them, but to hear them as well. Of course, if it is over social media or if it is evangelistic event, then it's just speaking. But we, we need also to listen to them. They need to know that we care about them, about their problems, about that we are aware of their pain and, and those things. But preaching the gospel is the basic. Uh, we, could, we could go into other side and just, uh, you know, trying to be friends, to hear them, to help them in practical ways without preaching gospel. That's not evangelism. That's right. being... Yeah good person but <laughs> preaching yes. the gospel has to be basic that is and that's... also i personally i know that there are some evangelists who would uh, who would speak against uh what they believe or what their religion is teaching or my approach is different i just offer them jesus and if they accept uh -huh. jesus they will find what is wrong with what they believed before. <laughs> Absolutely. And I think there's a, a lot of lessons there, Slavko, that we need to learn. So um, tell me, uh, if I can ask you, how do you see the future of Bosnia? Can we move to the next question? <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a difficult question, which I cannot really answer. I can tell you what are my wishes, what I wish for Bosnia. So I would love to see Bosnia as, uh, how to say, prosperous country, you know, economically yeah. developed with peace, with all free side side reconciled yeah. i would love to see that we don't see much of that if all after 25 years after after the war so there is still unfortunately a lot of unreconciliation and mm. i think that i can even say in some in some cases haterness maybe it's too strong word it's not always but uh, my English is not good enough to, to paint the picture, you know. Mm. Uh, and also economy is not, economically is not very developed. This COVID is now, I think that economic consequences would be harder than what virus did so far. Uh, we hope that virus will not spread rapidly, still hope even when you look the charts, it's going up. But economy basically is pretty destroyed and it was not in good shape. Uh, even before the virus, many young people, and, and not just young, older as well, were leaving the country, going to West, looking for a better job. And uh, the problem is that that caused what we called here, I don't know if you have that Angli English expression, brain drain. Yes, oh, yes, yeah. brain drain, yes. Because, you know, people who are, who would make change, people who are capable, who are smart, who can find 
you know, ways they are leaving the country and many young people, which is not good. And then on top of all of that, we, in last two years, we have big problem with migrants. So migrants are trying to get to, to European Union and we are the last country since Hungary built that big fence. We are last non-European non country. <laughs> so they quite easily come to Bosnia, mm. enter through all borders, get to Bosnia, and then Croatian police made strict border with Croatia, so they are accumulating, if that's correct word, in Bosnia. Yeah, yeah. And we have something like 50,000, no one knows exact number, migrants who then get stuck in Bosnia and yeah. they are trying to enter Croatia, often stay without money, sources for living, then that, that's, that doesn't help situation. Yeah. So I don't know about the future. I would wish to see a good future, but I don't know what future will bring. I know that uh, Jesus is the answer for our problems, but we still have, unfortunately, 0.02% of born-again Christians yeah. or real followers of Jesus. And we are working hard to change that, but we shall see how, how it will go in the future. It does. It does strike me that of all the Balkan countries, Bosnia seems to be doing less well than any of the others. Like you know, Slov um, Slovenia is doing well, Croatia is doing well, Serbia is doing well, and uh, Bosnia seems to be stuck in a bit of a rut, a hole. Yeah, I, I would not completely agree with that. Slovenia and Croatia are doing better, and both Slovenia and Croatia are part of European Union. Yeah, yeah. Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbia, uh, Montenegro, Macedonia, it's pretty similar situation. It's okay. not all the same, but economically it's pretty similar. Politically it's not very stable. I don't know, you, you mentioned that you watch in your news uh, about Srebrenica commemoration 25th, but also last five days in Serbia, there are violent uh, uh, protests against government and uh, wages are pretty same in those countries. Uh, many unemployed people, many young people trying to leave to the West. So I would say the, the Western part of former Yugoslavia, Slovenia and Croatia are doing much better, but then middle and eastern part, we are pretty much the same. You know, you all need the gospel. Yes. Mind you, so, so do we in the UK, I can tell you. Yes. Now, because um, I, I only have the free version of Zoom, so I'm going to get cut off in 10 minutes. But what I would like to ask you, uh, just to, to, to have, help people, is to know how we can pray for you, uh, Sanya and Slavko, and Sanya and Slavko together. Sanya, how can we pray for you? <laughs> okay, you can pray. Um, I have some struggle with my health, so you can pray for that. Uh, also, you can pray for this ministry, women ministry, how to continue through this situation. Should we start with something online or just wait and, you know, mm. and that's for me. Okay, Slavko, how can we pray for you? Well, for me, uh, it's th th there is big uncertainty related to ministry because uh, when everything started to ease in May, we all we quickly planned level three of Lankham preaching in Mostar in Bible Institute, second part of June, and then you know just few days prior to that we had to cancel. So it's really hard now to plan anything. I have some plans for, for autumn, for evangelism, for training of preachers, uh, but it's hard to plan. Now we move that level three for September, uh, but we will see how situation will develop. Shall we uh, move back again to, to social media and uh, to yeah. Zoom or, or, you know, to plan trips and, also, from the other side, uh, when curfew started, end of March, beginning of April, 
people were, I guess, caught by surprise and suddenly had to stay at home and presence on social media was really high. And I can say by number of views of my evangelistic videos of our church services, many more people were watching. And now uh, restrictions are not that hard as they were before. So now people can go out. Back then people couldn't even physically go out of their homes and they were stuck on, on the internet. Uh, but now I can see that number of views really is, is dropping. So to help us uh, to pray that God will help us to stay creative and to find new ways to reach people. Thank you. And how can we pray for your family, Slavko and Sanya and, uh, and the kids? They're not kids yeah, anymore, are they? <laughs> she has some health issues and she did CT a few weeks ago and uh, results were good, thanks God. She has to do MRI in two weeks and she has some therapy. She suffers a lot with vertigo and things. So pray, pray for that, that that will be better. Uh, pray for Jovana, that Jovana can find job. And uh, she, it was really a miracle from God how, how quickly she was employed after she graduated. She graduated last year and within days, she got a job which in Bosnia and Herzegovina is, is really not usual. And she was really happy at her workplace. But because of COVID, as Sanya mentioned, company had to fire one third of their workers. And she was among the youngest. She was first on the list. So now she is looking for a job. But so far, if my memory is correct, around 50,000 people stay without jobs so far in Bosnia and Herzegovina. And Bosnia and Herzegovina is a small country and those are official uh, statistics. So people who were not working on black, there are some people working on black who stayed without job as well. So it's not easy and I can see, I'm not sure if I can say that I can, <laughs> that she is a little bit frustrated uh, she is really trying hard to find job and she cannot pray also for David. Yes. Sanya haven't seen him since New Year. I haven't seen him since February when I was doing training of preachers in Slovenia. I stopped in Zagreb to see him. Um, <laughs> now he will, his last exam now in this term is on Wednesday, three days from now. But today they again make some restrictions on crossing the border. I'm not, I, I just saw in media and I'm not quite sure what exactly that means, if he will be able to come or not, but uh, we would really want to have him at home at yes. least for some time. Of course. And how can, we, how can we pray for um, Kishevsko Burdo? Yeah, uh, pray, pray. Uh, we lost one dear sister. We haven't lost her. We know where she is. <laughs> she is not lost. She is with Jesus. She passed away last week and she was a faithful member of the church. Uh, her name was Miriana and uh, she struggled with the health with cancer for quite a long time. Uh, but uh, for a small church as we are, for a small community of believers, that's always hard. Pray for her daughters and for church for that. Pray that also, you know, this lockdown and absence of physical meeting, as you know, you, you are also in the same situation. It affects people and it's not easy. And then uh, some people start to struggle. You know, uh, so pray that people will stay strong and faithful to Jesus. And also for creativity, we are again doing uh, groups, prayer meetings over, actually now we are meeting in small groups physically with social distancing, but we don't have Sunday services, prayer meeting we have over Viber. So pray for creative ways to stay engaged and to that people will feel engaged. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll pray for those things. Um, but uh, we've only got a f uh, four minutes left now. So uh, if it's all right with you, I'll pray for you and Sanya. 
And please, just before you end, we want to give a greeting. We should at the beginning to all, <laughs> to oh, okay. all St. Bottles Church and all dear brothers and sisters there. We really, uh, we really miss being with you. And I'm sure that the, the, this is hard for you, that you couldn't have your celebration in June. Yes. And we were looking very much forward to being with you. And congratulations for that great anniversary and we were supposed to be there unfortunately because of this COVID we couldn't but you are in our thoughts and prayers and we pray for your church and for people individually there we are in touch with some of you over email and social media and we love you and we are thankful to God for you. Thank you so much Slavko let me pray for you before we get cut off Father, thank you for Slavko and Sanya and for all the work that they're doing in uh, Bosnia. We do pray so much for that country and for a work of your spirit to soften people's hearts and open them up to the love of the Lord Jesus. Be with Slavko as he has a wider ministry. And we pray for Sanya, pray for her health. We pray, Lord, that um, you'd uh, bring healing to her and bless her as she uh, ministers for you and for Jovanna and David too we pray that you'll bless them in the settings which you have put them may they uh, know you with them and bring glory to your name in all they do for Jesus sake we pray amen amen it's amen. really great to chat with you really great and thank um, you Mark great to talk to you so too and to see you we should do this again some other time. Yes, another... we should. We should. <laughs> okay. Love to you both. Greetings and blessings. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.